Hello fellow Comet enthusiasts. Today, I'm excited to introduce Comet Swan, officially designated C-2025 F2, a rare visitor discovered through an unconventional method. Using low-resolution Swan images from the SOHO spacecraft, this comet was spotted by three dedicated observers across Ukraine, Australia, and California. Get ready to explore its discovery, detailed observations, orbit, and why this is truly a once-in-a-lifetime event. Comet Swan was not found through traditional telescopic searches. Instead, it emerged from the public Swan images taken by the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. On March 29th, Vladimir Bezugli from Ukraine was the first to notice a moving object in these images. That same day, Michael Matiazzo from Australia independently recognized a pretty obvious comet brightening at about 11th magnitude, and Rob Matson from California confirmed similar findings on March 31st. By April 8th, thanks to their swift collaboration and prompt dissemination on the comet's mailing list, our comet was officially named C-2025 F2. This discovery highlights how modern data sharing and global collaboration can unveil hidden celestial gems. Following its discovery, the amateur astronomy community mobilized quickly. High-quality images, such as a sigma-clipped composite from the Virtual Telescope Project in Manciano, Italy, showcase Comet Swan's distinctive features. In these images, taken under the exceptionally dark skies of the Italian peninsula, the comet displays a striking ion tail with intricate fine structures and a vivid greenish coma, the result of reactive diatomic carbon illuminated by sunlight. Although the comet hovers low at about 13 degrees above the horizon during morning twilight, early ground observations estimate its brightness at around magnitude 9.5. This makes SWAN a challenging but rewarding target for both small telescopes and binoculars. Now in motion across the sky, Comet SWAN is traversing the Great Square of Pegasus at approximately 1.75 degrees per day. Over the next few weeks, it will progress northeast, moving from Pegasus into Andromeda and then sailing through Triangulum. Mark your calendars. Its closest approach to both the Earth and the Sun is expected on May 1st, 2025. At that time, the comet will pass about 31 million miles from the Sun, just inside Mercury's average orbit and near the Pleiades cluster. Predictions suggest that if it survives perihelion, its brightness could improve to a range between magnitude 4.5 and 5. Although it is currently best observed in the early morning sky, the comet's erratic brightness, occasionally spiking due to possible ice eruptions, keeps us on our toes as it continues its journey. What truly sets Comet Swan apart is its extraordinary orbital period. It completes one orbit around the Sun every 1.4 million years. Pre-discovery images dating back to September 2024 have confirmed its long elliptical path, underscoring the rarity of this celestial event. As it gracefully transitions from the dawn sky to eventually reappear at dusk later in May, if predictions hold, Swan promises to deliver a unique spectacle for both amateur and professional astronomers alike. Its presence in our skies is not only a fascinating subject of scientific study, but also a reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our solar system. That wraps up our in-depth look at Comet Swan, the latest and one of the most exciting cometary discoveries in recent memory. 
Keep your telescopes ready and your eyes on the skies and be sure to share your observations. Until next time, happy comet hunting and keep looking up. As we conclude this virtual odyssey, we invite you to like and subscribe to our channel to embark on further cosmic explorations. With every click, you elevate our pursuit of knowledge and contribute to the collective understanding of our universe.